is Sharon Armstrong, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I've been doing this since 1997, so I have lots of experience showing you how to use Stampin' Up! products. Today we're going to be making this cute little card using the um, watercolor wings, and it's for a special cause, so I hope you enjoy it. We're making this card today for um, Autism Awareness. Autism Awareness Day is April the 16th, and I know that um, there are so many out there who suffer from this disease, and this is just a great day to um, lift them up and help support a great cause. So today we're gonna to be using the Stamparatus and the Watercolor Wings, which is a three-step stamp set. So the Stamparatus lends itself to this set beautifully. I also pulled in the stamp set called Lift Me Up because I wanted this sentiment on there. Um, with the butterfly, I just, I just wanted something different than what came in the Watercolor Wings stamp set. So I have my Stamparatus all set up. I am using the foam piece. I have one magnet on the right and one magnet on the left. Very, very important to keep those as far away from each other as possible. Since I'm gonna be cutting out the butterfly, it doesn't matter what size piece of cardstock, and I had this there, so I just grabbed it. I have found the bigger my cardstock is, the better when I'm using the Stamparatus. If you get really tiny strips, it's really kind of hard um, to use. Uh, the beauty of this is that I already have my stamps mounted. I could make a hundred of these cards and not have to change out my stamps, just changing out the paper. That's all I'd be doing. So we're going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and flip my plates around. We're going to go ahead and, and stamp this card or stamp this butterfly. Something that I have found as a tip, um, I put, I don't know if you can see it, I put a stamp pad underneath my plate when I want to ink. Um, on this one, since I have the camera set up behind it, I can't. So I will hold it up and ink up my stamp that way. I have just found that it's just easier to, um, as, as you start playing with your Stamparatus and learning different things about it, uh, what is the easy way to do um, the inking. Now, if you will notice, you see yellow ink on my plate. Don't worry. Because of the thickness of the stamp, that ink isn't gonna get on that paper. So don't worry about that. And I'm gonna lift this up. I do have this paper wedged in the corner. The photopolymer seems to stick to the cardstock a little bit more. So I wanna make sure that I ha if it moves on me because it's stuck to the stamp, I can just push that back up into the corner. Sometimes the magnets, I mean, they're strong magnets, um, you know, but sometimes the paper will buckle just a little bit. So I just make sure it's nice and flat. This stamp set is actually a watercolored look. So I'm okay with it. But the beauty of the Stamparatus is if I wanted to add more ink, all I have to do is add more ink to my stamp and stamp again. So now I'm gonna pick up my red. And ink up step two. By the way, do you know the best thing to get ink off of your hands, bar soap. Bar soap just works so much better. I don't know if it's more abrasive, but it just works much better than liquid soap. Okay, we're looking good. So now I want step three, so I'm gonna flip my, and, and all I've done is bring this up at a 90 degree angle and it's easy to put in and out on the hinge. And now we're gonna ink it up with the black. I kind of like to, this is not the same texture as our other stamp pads. They're more of a foam. This is more of a linen sort of fabric. And I like to just really grind that into that stamp and then tap that out to make sure I have a good coverage. So I am gonna re-ink again. 
especially in the middle. You know, I was talking to one of my stampers the other day who just got her stamparatus and she's really having trouble with her fingers due to some um, medicine that she's having to take. So I told her, you know, just push it down with the fist of your hand. You know, you don't have to um, use your fingers. So think about that if you have or have a friend who has issues. I'm gonna ink this up one more time, which is the beauty of the Stamparatus. I can just keep doing this. And it's all gonna line up. Okay, I think we're looking good. So now I'm gonna go cut this out. Since I have my Stamparatus here, I didn't wanna have to move it uh, to put my Big Shot in place. So now I'm just gonna stamp the body of my butterfly. I could have used the Stamparatus for this, but remember what I said about having too small of a piece of paper? It would have been really a tight squeeze for me to get my magnets in and get that body stamped. So incorporate your clear blocks into uh, with your Stamparatus. So now we have this part done and we're gonna get our card base. So I have my real red card base and I did decide to um, use my Stamparatus to stamp the sentiment because I wanted to share with you, let's go ahead and, by the way, on my magnets, I covered them in this fun duct tape and it has a little tail so it's easy to pick up that strong magnet. For this one, I'm gonna um, remove the foam matting because this is a um, real uh, clear red, clear mount stamp. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my magnets on and then I'm gonna ink up my stamp. Just a note to lift your spirits. Okay, so we are now done with this. When you go to store your Stamparatus, remove the plates. Put your magnets back so that you don't run the risk of those breaking. And then I'm not gonna actually clean off my plates right now because we wanna get to the making the card. But you would just stack your plates, you know, like this. You don't wanna store them in their hinges. So I have a piece of basic black and I have my, these are the colors that are for um, autism awareness. And we're just going to apply our little squares. Doesn't really matter which way they go, but I did decide that um, I wanted my blues to be opposite. You can find all the dimensions to this card on my blog post dated April 16th. Okay, so now if you'll notice, I ran this through the Big Shot. Let's move all of our stamp pads out of the way. And now we'll bring in the Big Shot. A tip that I did years ago was I put a label on a set of plates and they are only used for embossing. These plates are probably 10 years old and they're perfectly straight. There was, or there has been embossing folders that had like the little dots and stuff. And I just found that when my plates started warping, I wasn't getting a good embossed piece of paper. So I went to that method and I have continued doing that ever since. So I'm using the butterfly embossing folder. I'm gonna put the whole piece in. We're just gonna crank this through. And 
now we have our embossed layer. So the whole thing is embossed. And because it's embossed, I'm going to attach it to my card base with a little bit of multi-purpose glue. That multi-purpose glue just gets down in all those embossed areas and allows my card to stay stuck together without popping off. Okay, so let's add our butterfly. And I'm just gonna bend his wings just a little bit to give him that flying look. We're gonna stick him on with some glue dots. Whoops. And now our card is done. Thank you for watching and I would love to encourage you to hop over to my blog. And my blog is www.txstampin.com. Look at my blog post and um, give me some support. I appreciate you watching. Happy stamping, y'all. What did you think? Not only did we do it for a special cause, we also incorporated using the Stamparatus and three-step stamping. So what more could you ask for? Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Better yet, subscribe below. Um, and then that way you'll be notified on whenever I make another YouTube video. So always ways to learn and grow with your Stampin' Up! products. Thanks for watching. Happy stamping!